last minute video to the point that I don't even have my camera charged. I'm doing this on my iPhone. Um, but I just went to the grocery store and bought stuff for ramen noodles because I have been craving that. Like really, sorry, always something, huh? Always something. Please don't touch that. <laughs> I've been craving like authentic ramen. So I bought all the stuff, you know, that already cost me a million dollars. My meals cost so much money. Like if you don't have all of the stuff already, it's kind of like baking. If you don't already have the essentials, it's gonna cost so much money when you first start baking. Anyway, this is how I feel about making this ramen right now. But I got all the sauces, fish sauce, rice vinegar, like all of the different things. So hopefully this turns out good. Let's make some ramen. I'm not gonna be talking too much. I'm just kinda speed it up, show you how this process works, what it looks like, how I did it. And yeah, I hope, you really, really hope it tastes good in the end. Let's get started. sampled it. It honestly tastes so good. In the beginning, before I added the chicken, I was like, I don't know if I'm going to like this or I'm going to have to add water because it was like a super rich flavor. But once I added the chicken breast, it's like perfection now. So a few little takeaways before I sample it and plate it are, um, oh, something really cool that I was like, oh, it makes sense is that boiled eggs you should do it like hours ahead. There's a little sauce that I'll put in the description that you can make and you just soak the egg in there so that it's really flavorful. I didn't do that, I didn't have time. I didn't realize that was part of it. So my eggs are just like normal. And then the noodles, I thought you would boil them in the broth, which I'm sure you can do, but just like a side note that I was like, oh, that's a smart idea is the recipe calls for boiling them separately and then adding a little like olive oil so they don't get bunched together. Essentially, you don't put the noodles in there right away so they don't get super soggy. So that's something you can do if you're not planning to eat them immediately. So that was a good tip. But yeah, so excited to try this. Let's um, put it together. moment of truth if i had green onion at the store they only had chives i would have totally got that but i'm gonna try to get a bite with everything and obviously i added a lot more chicken and vegetables than probably normal ramen just personal preference but here is the first bite Mm. 
I think it's extremely good. Mmm. Yeah. That's really good. Yeah. Honestly, I was so afraid to record this and then not even be able to use the video on the end because it tasted bad. <laughs> so, great news here. But anyway, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Again, super last minute. It's already dark. Don't have my camera like I mentioned, but if you live in the same town as me, we do not really have places you can get ramen. So I was like, oh, I should really share this. So yeah, don't forget to like, subscribe, and we will see you on the next episode.